Hi guys and gals, Karabali. Today we're gonna talk about a great core exercise, especially for beginners. It's gonna be pretty much easy, it's gonna be safe. It's called dumbbell side bend. Now, I'm gonna first do the exercise, then I'm gonna go through the details. This exercise is pretty much easy, but still a lot of people get hurt from this exercise because of mainly three reasons. First one, they go really heavy. Second one, they go really fast. Third, they go to extreme ranges. Also, it's gonna be a disaster if you mix all those three with each other. So make sure, especially when you're doing any core activity, because it involves your spine, you do not make those mistakes. But anyway, there are other mistakes as well. So for example, one of them is holding two dumbbells at the same time and doing this, and you're not doing anything special because you're neutralizing the weight that you're supposed to handle with your uh, core. So it's better to just hold one dumbbell and to one side. Another mistake that people make is they think that this exercise is gonna make them lose weight. Of course you're gonna burn calories but it's not gonna burn the fat in here. You cannot just target one area to burn the fat. So if your goal is fat loss, this is not the exercise or there are not any special exercises just for targeting fat loss. Although you, there are exercises that increase your metabolic rate or the exercises that really burn a lot of calories like for example running for two hours or things like that but that's not the uh, topic of this video. This exercise helps you target the muscles that help you laterally flex. So if you hold the dumbbell in one hand, the opposite side is gonna be activated. Now I already have a video about core muscles. I'm gonna put a link up in this video if you're watching from my YouTube channel. So you're gonna know more about the details of the anatomy and physiology. I'm just gonna mention them here. So if you wanna know more, just click on the link. The obliques are gonna be activated. The uh, internal and external oblique are gonna be activated. The rectus abdominis on the side that you're training is gonna be activated. So the six pack muscle that we talked about in that video, the paraspinal muscles are gonna be activated. The deeper muscles, the transverse spinalis muscle is gonna be activated as well. Your lat is gonna be activated as mentioned in other videos that I have about lat workout. One of the things that the lat muscle does is laterally flex the spine. So it's gonna be activated as well. The QL muscle is going to be activated and also the transverse abdominis and a few other muscles are going to be activated as well. Even a little bit your hip flexors are going to be activated if you go to the extreme ranges but uh, you do not need to do that. But mainly the muscles that I mentioned are going to be activated. Now as mentioned the latissimus dorsi or the back muscle, the lat is going to be activated as well. If you want to reduce the activation of the lat, all you need to do is stretch it. So if you want to train this side, you bring the elbow up, the elbow is up, and you do the exercise, it's going to get a good activation. Also, another thing that I see a lot of people do not do is they do not go through the full contraction. So they come down, they come here neutral and they again go down. So when you go down, try to come all the way up and go through the full range of motion. Now this exercise is again as mentioned for lateral flexion of the spine. The obliques are going to be activated but if your target is to uh, work on the obliques, it's not the best exercise because if you want to train the obliques, you need rotation of the spine as well. So it's really hard to do the knob, whether you bring the elbow up or down. It's just not that much good to do the rotation with the dumbbell as well. 
I've got other videos about that. This exercise is mainly good for beginners and people who've got back issues like a bulging disc or things like that, or they need to work on the postures or for any injuries or anything. If they want to just train one side unilaterally, it's gonna be a great choice, but it's not the best exercise for building core stability and strength.